In this lecture, you're going to learn what is synchronous and asynchronous programming in JavaScript. So let's start with synchronous programming. JavaScript is a single threaded programming language, which means the JavaScript engine can process or execute only one statement at a time. In a synchronous program, the code is executed line by line in the order of its execution. And if any part of your code is taking long time in its execution, for example, due to long running operations such as network access, then the next statement will have to wait for its execution to complete. Now, most of the code which we write in JavaScript is synchronous code. So let's understand synchronous program with two simple examples. Here, we have a very simple JavaScript program. And this program is synchronous program. Now, consider this box as Browser's Developer Console. So when we run this program, first of all, we are creating two functions, Hello World and Greetings. And then we are calling this Greetings function. So when this function is called, the execution control will move to the definition of this function. And inside this function, the first line of statement is a console.log statement. So once it is executed, it will log this good morning message in the developer console. And then we move to next statement. Here we are calling this hello world function. So again, execution control will move to the definition of this hello world function. Inside this function, we have a single statement, which is this console.log statement. So this console.log statement will be executed and it will log hello world in the developer console. And then this function returns. So we are back to the greetings function from where we call this hello world function. Once the execution of this hello world function is complete, we move to next statement. And then this console.log statement will be executed. It will log this message in the developer console. And then this greetings function return and we are back from where this greetings function was called. So in this example, we saw that the code is executed line by line in the order of its execution. So in a synchronous program, the code is executed line by line in the order of its execution. Now let's take a look at another example. So here we have another simple JavaScript program. When we run this program, in the first statement, we are creating a variable and assigning it with this value good morning. So this statement will be executed, variable will be created and it will be assigned with this value. And then we move to next statement. In the next statement, we are logging the value of this variable str in the developer console. So this console.log statement will be executed. It will log this value. And then once its execution is complete, we move to next statement. In this statement, we are calling this alert function and we are passing some message to this alert function. So the execution of this alert function will start. And if you remember, an alert function displays an alert window in the developer, I mean in the browser. Now, an alert window is a model window. That means it makes the web page unresponsive. And also, the execution of the alert function is complete only when this alert window disappears from the browser. That means when we click on this OK button, the alert window will disappear from the browser and the execution of this alert function is complete. Until then, the execution of this alert function is still in progress. And because of this, the next statement, this console.log statement will have to wait for its execution. So here, this alert function is blocking the execution of this next statement. And this next statement, this console.log statement will have to wait for its execution until the execution of this alert function is complete. So a synchronous program is blocking. Okay. And if any part of your code is taking long time in its execution, then the next statement will have to wait for its execution. Okay. So here this alert function is taking long time in its execution and that's why this console.log statement will have to wait for its execution. All right. And when we click on this OK button, this alert window disappear and the execution of this alert function is complete. 
and once this execution is complete then only the next statement which is this console.log statement in this example will be executed so in a synchronous program if any piece of your code is taking long time in its execution then the next statement will have to wait for its execution to complete now let's talk about asynchronous programming in asynchronous programming the statements are executed asynchronously this means a task will not wait for another task to complete for its execution there are many functions provided by javascript that allows you to execute a code asynchronously and one such function is this set timeout function so this set timeout function runs asynchronously that means it does not block the execution of further javascript code Let's understand this with an example. So this is the same code which we saw in our previous slide, but it is a bit modified. So here I'm calling this alert function inside this set timeout function. And this set timeout function runs asynchronously. So to this set timeout function, I have provided a callback function and a time interval of 2000 milliseconds. So this set timeout function will wait for 2000 milliseconds and then only it will execute this alert function again consider this box as browsers developer console so now when we run this program the first statement will be executed synchronously so here we are creating a variable assigning it with the value and then once the variable is created and is assigned with this value the execution of this statement is complete then only we move to next statement and this is this statement will also get executed synchronously so here we have this console.log statement and we are logging the value of this str variable so this good morning will be logged and the execution of this console.log statement is complete so now we move to next statement here we are calling this set timeout function and this set timeout function is executed asynchronously so it will not block the execution of this console.log statement okay so here first of all in the background a timer will be created and the timer will run for 2000 milliseconds and this callback function will be registered okay but it will not be executed yet okay so the callback function has been registered and it will wait for its execution Meanwhile, JavaScript engine will not wait for that callback function to get executed. It will move to the next statement. And in the next statement, we have this console.log statement. So it will log this message in the developer console. Now, once this 2000 millisecond is complete, the timer will be removed from the background. And this callback function, which we have passed to the set timeout function will get executed and it will display this alert window in the browser so here this set timeout function didn't block the execution of further JavaScript code so an asynchronous program is non blocking in case of asynchronous program the asynchronous code runs in the background and it does not block the execution of further JavaScript code and this is the biggest difference between synchronous and asynchronous program Synchronous program is blocking, but asynchronous program is non-blocking. Let's write this synchronous and asynchronous program in the code editor and let's run it in the browser and see the output. Here, we have the same synchronous program which we saw in this slide. So when I save the changes here, you will see that first of all, uh, first of all here we are creating this variable and then we are logging it. So when I save this program, first of all, that value will be logged in the developer console. And then we are calling this alert function. So this alert function will display an alert window in the browser. And now since this window is still visible, the execution of this alert function is not complete yet. Okay, so here this console.log statement will have to wait for its execution because the execution of its previous statement is not yet complete. Now, when I click on this OK button, this the execution of this alert function will be completed and then only this console.log statement will be executed. 
and once it is executed it will log this have a nice day okay now let's make this program asynchronous and for that we will use this set timeout function and to this set timeout function let's pass a callback function and inside this callback function i'm going to execute this alert function and let's pass a time interval of 2000 milliseconds all right So now let's save the changes. So here you see hello world and have a nice day is logged. And after 2000 milliseconds only, this alert window appears. So here this set timeout function was running in the background. It didn't block the execution of next line of code. And this is asynchronous programming. Let me change this time interval to 5000 milliseconds so that you can see the difference. So when I save this, let me click on this OK button first. So now hello world and have a nice day is displayed. And after five seconds, the alert window will appear. All right. So a synchronous program is blocking. On the other hand, an asynchronous program is non-blocking. If you like this lecture, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends.